Hi guys, it's Rizzo and I'm super excited because I finally got my first shipment of some Dexacom G6 cover patches. Um, I ordered from like three different companies and this was the first one that came so I'm planning on trying it out. I actually um, am planning on going swimming in the lake tomorrow. So I definitely want some good coverage. These cover the entire thing. I'm hoping that, um, yeah, that it does its job good. <laughs> so we'll find out. So to start, I need to remove my clear one that I currently have now, which is always fun. And I got some alcohol swabs but I also have with me ready. So yeah, we'll start with ah, taking this off. I always hate this part. Almost have it. Oh. Whew. <sighs> Never any fun. All right. So, so far, it looks like the regular part of the Dexacom area is still on and good. Whew. Progress. All right. So, I am going to use my camera on my phone here as kind of my mirror so I can see what I'm doing. It's a little red from where I took off my other one. So let's see, today is the 16th, I believe, or 17th, so I have I think Monday is when I'm supposed to change my Dexacom again. So I just need this patch to last just till Monday and today is Friday. So I'm sure it will do that just fine. Okay, so now I'm gonna let that dry. When that's drying, I'm gonna open this up. Hardest part will be choosing what color. I got two different ones. All right. So I got pink, of course. Um, company is not just a patch. And then I also just went ahead and got like the normal beige color. I tried to do a beige color in some other companies and they were completely sold out. So I don't know. I might just try to do this one just because maybe it'll make it less inspicuous. Okay, so the back of the pad, hold and pull the pad away from that and ready to put on. Okay. So, I don't know if you guys can see this, but there's kind of a little indent around, maybe if I angle it, I don't know. But there is kind of a square for the Dexacom that you leave on in the center. And yeah, so we're just gonna peel off the outer layer. I'm 
then I got to decide where my straight end, so my wider end, I don't think it really matters, actually. Okay, so I'm going to do the best I can here, but I'm going to put that there, and I'm going to try to center this without it sticking to anything else first. Always hard to do by yourself, but okay. And put the top down and my cat is in the background. <laughs> He's not happy that I put him up. How am I doing? Hopefully. Fill my transmitter and everything underneath of that pretty well. All right, so there it is. It's like a really huge band aid, but I like it, it feels good. So, the reason why I thought I would try this brand is because it does seal everything completely. Um, I don't know how well it's gonna stick, but I'm definitely gonna try it out. I am going boating tomorrow, so hopefully um, I'll find out. And I'll probably just bring a couple in case it does um, decide to come off while I'm out boating. But the outside, I think, got yeah, sailed pretty good. It's just this part here. It's a little bigger than what the transmitter is, so it kind of overlaps, but it's good because it doesn't stick to the actual transmitter. So, yeah, I don't know. We'll find out. So hopefully I'll be able to give you guys an update on how it goes. But there it is. That easy. And I did it one-handed. So, yay. Thanks for watching.